Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are your branches. Oh, that's nice. Oh, hello there. Well, I was just putting the finishing touches on my Christmas tree. Here I was at Washington. Anyway, you're probably thinking, where did the Christmas tree come from? I mean, did baby Jesus have a Christmas tree in his, in his little manger stall stable set up? Well, no, of course not. In fact, the Christmas tree didn't come till way long time after that. It was actually a result of a young man whose name was Winfred. <laughs> well, the good thing is, he got his name changed from Winfred, because Winfred is a kind of a silly name. I've never actually met a Winfred. It doesn't sound real manly like old Luther does. Anyway, so Winfred was a young, he was a young priest in England, and he had this, his, he had this vision that he needed to go to the Germanic tribes and preach the gospel. And so his, the priest got together and said, you need to go do that. Why don't you go, and I'm going to give you a new name. I'm going to call you Boniface. So old Boniface became one of the best missionaries ever. People think that he is almost as good a missionary as the Apostle Paul because he went up into the Germanic tribes and he's telling them all about Jesus and he did some crazy stuff to get their attention. Like, for instance, there's this one time that these old Germanic people, they would have this like ceremony, worship service to the God Thor. And as you know, there ain't no real God Thor. They'd get around this oak tree. They said, this is Thor's oak. We call it the Thunder Oak. And they'd have this ceremony, and they would actually sacrifice to Thor. Isn't that crazy? And old Boneface, he got some friends together, and he's like, no, we're going to put a stop to this. So he went straight into this service and kicked them out, and he took an axe, and he cut down the thunder oak. And they's all like, oh, no, what's going to happen? Thor's going to shoot him down with his lightning bolts. But nothing happened. In fact, when they realized that Thor didn't shoot him down those lightning bolts, they thought, well, we shouldn't worship Thor. He can't even stop old Boneface from chopping down his tree. And so they said, well, what should we do now? And he said, you need to look to Jesus. In fact, here, look, there's a little tiny fir tree here. See, this is what you need to take into your homes, this little fir tree, because it's like pointing straight up to heaven, and it's always green like the, like the never-ending love of Jesus. And this, we'll call this the tree of the Christ child. And so they started doing that. They started taking these Christmas trees into their homes and saying, this is pointing to Jesus, and it's about this ever-ending love of Jesus. Isn't that awesome? And, it, and so that's where it took off. Now, it didn't actually catch on into the modern world until like the 1800s when old uh, Prince Albert of Germany married uh, Queen Victoria of England, and he went in and he took this custom with him. And then we in America, we saw it in the middle 1800s, and we saw these huge Christmas trees all decorated, and we said... Oh, we got to do that. And so we did. And so just think about this. You know, people all over the world are getting Christmas trees. And they're making them during this time. And they don't know that they're telling a little bit about the gospel of Jesus and by using that Christmas tree. What they also don't know is they don't know that the exchanging gifts is supposed to point us to when people brought gifts to the baby Christ child. So remember that. You've got friends and family who are decorating Christmas trees and they're giving gifts and they, maybe they need you to explain to them. You know, we do this because of Jesus. We do this because there's a, a never-ending love of Jesus and that he came as a little baby and that these wise men came and gave him gifts. And so because of these gifts that were given to him, we want to remember that. So we give gifts to other people. So even during this holiday season, you need to realize that people, some people are preaching the gospel without even knowing it. And maybe you need to take the time to explain it to them. Isn't that awesome? All right. That's all we got for you. So everybody here at Snowbird Outfitters, we want to wish yins and yornses a Merry Christmas. Bye.